Hi, welcome to Nichecraft. My name is Cassie and I'm your host and I have this whole big channel where I talk about yarn, I do mystery box unboxings, I give you stitch tutorials, and occasionally I share some things about myself. And today's one of those days that I decided that, hey, um, before I film my mystery box unboxing for Monday, because I always do one on Monday, I may as well make a more casual video here where I talk to you guys about just some of the stuff I've been working on. Um, so, you know, I just kind of threw this together. I don't really have a plan for this video, <laughs> but, um, how about this? The first thing I want to talk about is my Etsy store. So I have an Etsy store set up. I've got a couple of things that I offer on there right now. One of them are mystery bags. Now I've come to the realization that a lot of people don't like the mystery of mystery bags. They kind of want to know what they're going to get. Um, but they do like the concept of getting a surprise, let's say. So I've changed some of the features of my mystery bags on Etsy. Just wanted to talk about it. I now offer both large sizes and small sizes to accommodate everybody's budget, right? And I allow you guys to pick what color you would like. And the colors are like um, basically pastels, jewel tones, brights, fall or autumnal colors. I also have a neutrals. Um, and a few other options. I can't think of them right now, but basically those kinds of things. I think I have about eight options. And then there's also the surprise me where, you know, I kind of get to pick it out for you. Um, and I just wanted to say I have decided to add something a little bit special to my mystery bags just to kind of make them like, so you guys know I'm serious about making sure you guys are happy with them. I've decided to include a um, Hank or a ball or a skein of Noro in every single one of my boxes. Okay, so no matter whether you you order a small or a large, you will not only get more <laughs> than what you're paying for as far as the, the retail value for it, but you'll also get a Noro. Okay, so just wanted to talk about that. Now you can always ask me not to put a Noro in there if you don't like Noro. That's fine. I'll just put a couple of extra stuff in there. But just wanted to let you guys know about that. Um, the second thing I want to talk, talk to you about as far as my um, Etsy store goes is, um, and this features a couple of finished objects that I've done. So I've decided to start making these nice um, baby blankets for my, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking, is this, am I showing you the right side or the wrong side? I think this might be the right side. <laughs> I think I showed you the wrong side. Here's the ugly side of something that I've decided to make for Etsy. Yay! <laughs> no, I mean, it's it it's actually pretty easy to reverse <laughs> these. Um, but basically, they're, they're a granny square. They're 30 by 30 inches when I finish the granny square part. And then I add um, a, a border of just, um, what are they called? Single crochet stitches along the border there, just so it has a nice finishing touch. I was always taught that a blanket is not finished until it has a border, so. <laughs> so anyway, here's one that is available on my channel. It is so soft. It's made from the ice cream roving divigation. So it's like got this really plush feel to it. It does not feel like scratchy yarn, you know? It feels like a stuffed animal. And I just think that it's so nice. And um, I'm selling them for very reasonable prices. You know, when you take into consideration how much the yarn, the supplies cost, the yarn and the, you know, measuring tapes and, and crochet hooks and all of that, plus how long it would take to make something like this, for, for me at least, um, I'm selling them for a really reasonable price, okay? Um, and I just wanted to show off this one because I really like it. Um, of course, you know, I don't care what color you want to pick for whatever kind of gender baby it is, <laughs> but this typically is more of a little boy's blanket. Um, and then I also currently in my shop, I have another completed b baby blanket. And that is before I show you the wrong side, <laughs> which I just did. <laughs> that is this one. At least I think this is the right side. It's so funny because like it's so nice that you can't even really tell what the wrong side and the right side is. 
but so I have this one here's the other side of it <laughs> and again it is uh, 30 by 30 inch and then it has this um, row of single crochets as a border um, exactly the same only it's pink and purple of course it's got some white in it so did the other one um, and so again I don't care what color goes with what gender <laughs> anybody you know colors to me are gender neutral but I understand some people have very strong opinions about that kind of stuff but it would probably be a little more appropriate for a girl than a boy but hey just whatever and if you want to look at some of the other colors that I'm working with I've got this one I've got an all pink one and I have this one that I'm I love working with right now it is actually this pastel yellow with pastel purple which I think looks so great of course you guys know me I'm a I'm a pastel color <laughs> kind of person and well I'm a pastel yellow kind of person so of course this yellow is just gorgeous to me um, so this is how it's looking so far I just started it um, but I'm looking forward to finishing this one and listing that one um, so yeah just wanted to tell you about that and um, in the future I am going to be um, including a lot more objects okay I, I just wanted to show you some of the things that I have right now again it's still in its early stages i've got a pretty um storefront now <laughs> but it's still in its early stages but hey if you want to help me out even if you don't intend to purchase anything from me it would just be a big help if you went to my etsy store and you um, hit that um heart there because when you hit that it it's it basically you're favoriting my shop um, but the more people who like my shop and, and favorite it, um, the, the more Etsy kind of boosts me up and, and lets people see my stuff. You know, when, when people um, search for different things, you know, shops that have a whole lot of success and everything are going to show up first. It's just kind of the way it works. I think it's called an algorithm or something. <laughs> But basically, if you if you heart the shop, you know that would just help me out, um, and just kind of think about think about me if you um, have to purchase a, um, a something for a baby shower or anything like that. You know, just think about me. You know, I'm gonna be having so many other things um, in the shop, and again, you know. I don't really want to talk about this so much on my channel, um, even though it does help, but I don't want to talk about this so much on my channel, but I, what I will do is I've decided every Saturday I'll post to the community tab the new things I have in my shop. That way you guys can save and stay informed, but you don't have to watch a video about it. <laughs> so um, that said, I, I think the next thing I want to talk about is this blanket. I made this blanket. It's an oversized throw, okay? It, it's it's a very large blanket actually i made this blanket for my daughter this color right here is her favorite color and this was made with red heart um ombre and scuba now, i love red heart ombre but i understand some people don't like um, working with red heart which is totally fine and um just if you want to give it a second chance just know that if you use liquid fabric softener in with your um when you wash it and they they even sell it as hypoallergenic you know that kind of stuff so you you don't have to worry about it um some people react to de de detergents in really bad ways so so they even have that that's what i use with my laundry after i make make one of these and they just it gets it's soft it softens up so much better um but anyway i really want to draw your attention to the stitch the stitch is called the alpine stitch and this is going to be the stitch that i'm going to be teaching this week so um if you are looking forward to my stitch tutorials that's what's good what it's going to be all right guys <laughs> so you know that just wanted to show you some other things now i posted this to my community tab it seems like a hundred years ago um but i am so proud of this um i took one of those sultan king deluxe um where it started with light and it ended in dark and i made this beautiful shawl oh it is so pretty now i can tell you that it's it's a really easy shawl to make i i got it from bag o day okay i just found a bag o day crochet shawl that i liked and i decided to follow that those instructions i didn't think too hard about it 
um but anyway it's basically a granny square pattern so it's pretty easy and then you have um this bobble stitch row here and then you kind of go back to the granny square pattern and you just keep doing that until you basically run out of yarn right <laughs> I never want to do a bobble stitch again. <laughs> at least at the time that I finished this, I didn't. I probably will, though. <laughs> I just, oh my gosh, the bobble stitch rows. Every time it got to the bobble stitch row, I was like, <sighs> I was like getting anxious. And I was like, oh man, I don't know. I need a drink of water. Hey, Greg, can you get me some ice water? I don't know if I can face it. <laughs> but honestly, it looks so good. I'm so glad that I stuck with it. Now, I have not you know sewn in the ends or anything like that in fact I don't even care about them because I just think it looks so good that it doesn't even matter to me eventually I will but I am so happy with this I I like to wear it like this you know and the and and pretend like I'm a gypsy or I'm some kind of um of crone that somebody has met in the woods and I have and I have secret powers and and I and I guide the main character of the book to her destiny by imparting um, wisdom and riddles and stuff like that. Or I like to wear it like this and feel like I'm a fairy princess or, you know, just, you know, wear it like normal, normal people do and just feel like I'm a normal person, you know, just whatever. <laughs> so I have a lot of fun with this. Um, sometimes I wear it out <laughs> can you believe it <laughs> but I just wanted to share that because I'm so proud of it and everything and in that same um, light I wanted to show you um, a while ago a while while ago I unboxed this Hobie um, Dahlia um, this is one of those that you have to use a um, a bead for because the the strings are all there there's multiple strings in it and uh, anyway, it starts out with this pretty rose and it goes to brown and then almost this burgundy color and then it goes to dark, dark brown there. And so I'm making a new shawl and uh, just wanted to say that this one um, I found on Fiber Spiders. Um, um, <laughs> I'm gonna forget the word his YouTube channel <laughs> I found on Fiber Spiders YouTube channel it is called the virus meets the granny um, and it is as you can tell it's a virus stitch with the granny I think it kind of looks a little creepy because these things look like owls and then these are like the, the feathers and it looks like it's like coming at you and everything but at the same time I think that, that kind of looks pretty um, at the same time so it's kind of weird but anyway I'm really enjoying making this I have not been able to have enough time to really work on on a project as delicate as this for a while but I am hoping to have this done um, by um, basically when school goes back in season for those of us in the United States we've our kids you know some of them <laughs> most of them get the summers off so um, they don't go back to school until usually late late August or so so I'm hoping to get it done around there um, and I'm sure I will you know it's, it's a joy to do I just can't work too hard on it knowing that I have other things that I want to make that are just more important also you know what I got kids and they want me to make me make them things and I really you know I love making things for my kids and everything so there's that too um the other thing I wanted to show you was this and again the the ends are not in or at all. I have not finished it, but this is a project bag I've been working on. It has this kind of oval base. Not certain if you can see that well, but I'll hold it up. It's got an oval base. Um, and then it just kind of goes straight up. And what I am going to do is I'm going to sew on little pockets here. Um, and then, then I'm going to sew on straps um so that it can be a nice a nice big bag and i just wanted to show you that i am using um lion's comfy comfy cotton blend here for, to, to make this and then i also use some of the mystery yarn that i got in my kramer unboxings this um, navy blue color and i think they look great together and so that's what i've been doing um this has been used with on the bottom here we've got the half double crochet in the oval now if you've never um 
if you've never um, made something in the oval, I would love to teach you guys how to do that. In fact, I have a video idea where I'm going to show you how to make th something in the round and then make something in the oval. Um, and I think that would be a great video idea. Um, so, in fact, I'll go ahead and do that. I'll, I'll, I've got, got it in my mind when I rewatch this video because I always rewatch it. I'll write it down in my notebook. Just don't have it here. Um, but anyway, so I made the bottom in the oval and then I just started going around the sides um, using a, I, this is also the half cup, double crochet, but I, I did it so that the inside of the half double crochet where you kind of get that, that pattern there with the, with the horizontal lines is on the inside. So it looks more, I don't know what the word, the word, word should be for this, but it may be clean. It like, looks more clean on the ins, to, on the outside. Um, and really this is more for me to have around the house so I have an extra project bag because don't we all need more project bags yeah <laughs> but you know I I'm really happy with it so I'd love to do a tutorial on how I made this so um, I'll probably even include that too <laughs> um, but yeah in in speaking of tutorials that is something I want to do a little bit more of now I gotta be honest with you guys on YouTube tutorials don't actually do that well um, yes they they're out there so when people want to learn how to make different kinds of things or learn the Alpine stitch or whatever you know they can find them and, and that's great but um, it's like 10% of who who views my normal videos will view my um, tutorials so there's there's kind of like this 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 thing created um, with I think content creators when they do tutorials like um, they really want to do a whole lot of them but you know they also want to give their audience what they want <laughs> so so it's kind of like a war for me because on on the one hand I love doing tutorials anyway so I'm gonna be doing them I, I you know whatever you guys think that's okay I, I mean I'm gonna do tutorials but on the other hand yeah I want to do things that you guys like as well you know I want you to like me <laughs> and and so you know there does have to be a balance there um, so any one of you guys that's like, gosh, I really wish you made more tutorials, just know that that's kind of something that drives what kind of content I create. Um, and I I know a lot of stitches, and, and I hope I don't sound like self-important by saying that. I just mean, I've, I've been doing this since I was 11, and I know so many people think I'm so young, but I'm actually in my 40s. So, you know, I've been doing this for a long time. I have a lot of stitches I can teach you. I'm never going to run out of stitches, stitches to teach you. Actually, I probably shouldn't say that because I'm sure that there's like, I'm sure there's not like an infinite amount of stitches that I could teach you, but I don't think I'm ever going to run out of ideas for ways to teach you to make different things because I like to design things too. So just so you know, I will not run out of stitch tutorials and I aim to do at least one a week, if not more. Um, I just noticed that you guys like the mystery box unboxings. You like the, the more, I guess, fun stuff, the more social stuff and everything. And hey, that's fine. <laughs> anyway, that said, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs thumbs up. If you are not subscribed, hey, why not? You know, um, if you enjoy videos like this or if you enjoy mystery box unboxings or learning about new yarn because I love to review yarn or learning about products. I, I have one to review this week. Oh, I'm so excited to do it too. Um, or if you want to know about, you know, different kinds of different kinds of information about autism, um, about health, because I have a little segment I like to do about crafting ourselves, you know, and, and working on uh, working on ourselves. If you like that kind of thing, you might want to stick around. So go ahead and, and um, subscribe. Hit the bell though, because guess what? I have giveaways. I do them all the time. I love giveaways. I love giving back to the yarn community and um so you're gonna want to know about them and you're definitely gonna want to know 
if you won. So hit the little bell. Those of you who haven't hit it, go ahead and hit it because that way you'll always know when my giveaways go up and you'll always know if you won or not. Um, so anyway, guys, thanks so much for indulging me and letting me talk a little bit about the different projects I've been working on. I'm really excited to just put so much stuff into my Etsy shop. And if you need any of the links to um, like my Etsy shop and all of that. It's in the pinned comment in every single video. Um, and it is in my description. All right, guys. So you should be able to see it there. That said, stay healthy, stay happy if you can, hopefully. And I will see you soon in another video. Bye for now.